This is Carol Kovalik of In Air. Carol, In Air is one of the largest operators in Poland now, but certainly Western Poland, with a major slice of FTTH. Tell us a bit about the network. Yeah. Uh, our FTTH network is mostly a GPON network. We started the project in 2010. And uh, even though we are regional uh, so far, we uh, were able to uh, attract 20,000 of our customers to, to join our FTTH network. Uh, when it comes to the, the size of the network, it consists of uh, around 68,000 HPs, homes fast. Uh, so uh, if you look at the whole number which uh, uh, FTTH Council is reporting in Poland, which may, is uh, around 97,000 uh, homes connected to FTTH, so we have around 20% of, of that. That's great. Tell us what were some of the hurdles you had to overcome to, to achieve that when you first set off on this project? Yeah. Uh, for us, uh, it was difficult to start with the project uh, because uh, like we are we're typical cable operator. So we were operating our uh, DOCSIS network using coaxial cables and most of, our, most of the vendors were trying to convince us that we should follow that route, that we should uh, upgrade to the DOCSIS 3.1 and the next versions. However, we were seeing this as a sort of a trade-off uh, which may protect our old investment. However, it's not ultimate solution. We see, we see that this sort of FTTH, uh, FTH is the ultimate solution, but FTTB or FTTC are these trade-offs where you just protect your old investment, but you don't reach the, the, the ultimate solution yet. So that's why we decided now there, there is no uh, intermediate point for us. We need to go to the, the, the final solutions, and we did it to just get rid of all the bottlenecks which are involved in keeping the, the, the old cables, twisted pair or coaxial cables in place. And, and you've got plans for even more, I think. That's right. Uh, our plan is to uh, double in the, this year, in fact. We, we want to build uh, around 67,000 new HPs, which uh, in that time we hope to, to fill with uh, new customers. But the size of this network will, will double Fantastic. this year. Before I let you go and uh, carry on with that installation, final question, just tell us what's been some of the benefits to your customers. Uh, Typically, like uh, we are uh, uh, service provider, so we provide uh, uh, high capacity service uh, using uh, FTTH network. Currently, our services are reaching uh, half gigabit per second, uh, and the customer can use uh, whatever uh, over-the-top services uh, he wants. Uh, from our perspective, we see a big advantage in having uh, FTTH because it simplifies uh, lots of the operations. We don't have any intermediate active points we need to manage. So all the complexity which is involved in man maintaining high number of outdoor uh, active nodes uh, is removed with uh, passive optical networks. And uh, this brings a higher quality, uh, it's less uh, prone to failure, and uh, it simply uh, provides a seamless uh, internet service for, for our customers without much hassle from our side. That's really interesting. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. So we're seeing in Western Poland where FTTH Networks is not only improving network access, but is easier for the operator to run.